Huh. Okay. Well, these are the carriers. And uh, I am already regretting this decision. They only have one Viper Squadron on them. Okay, this is perhaps not going to be a very easily fought battle. Okay, immediately. Um, you're probably better off using adamant frigates. But, I could be wrong. Oh, are you fucking shitting me? Oh, god damn it, fine. Daedalus... Requires the use of the Raptor Squadron. Oh, this is perhaps not the best mission to uh, test out a new ship, but oh well. Screw it. In three, two, Let's see how these one. carriers look. Let's see how they fly. Uh, okay. Dreadus contact. Marks on the board. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Okay. Understood. I will not be using the Raptor just yet because I don't know what I need. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I probably need to capture that target. Okay. Deploying the Raptor. So, I will be making fairly liberal use of the Vipers and Raptors today. Now, let's see what the hell this middle one has. The turrets. Okay, so it's got turret range of similar to a frigate. Okay. And what does that give us for max defense? It's not bad. Max offense. Not bad. So it looks like... So it is a discount frigate. You get no missiles, so you are completely dependent on your Vipers for attack and defense. Well, there are worse fates, I suppose. Um, Hull is 70, and I'm pretty sure that is lighter than the frigate. So, uh, it's got really beefy front armor, this one. Yes, so I'm sir. guessing it's meant to kind of be a bit of a blockade runner. Charge in. Deposit some vipers. Get out alive. Which, okay, that kind of makes sense, but all your weapons are on your broadsides. You don't have anything facing yes, your front. Sir. So if you want to fight, you're going to be fighting at your sides, and your armor there isn't that great, honestly. Okay, well. Let's get our birds in. These are carriers, after yes, all. Sir. They've got one purpose. Carry and launch vipers. So let's get them in the air. Okay, let's see. Now, Raptor. Um, I think the Raptor needs to board this target. Alright. Viper 2, your job will be to defend that Raptor squadron. Everyone else, we're going to have to take the fight to them. So. Yes, sir. One. 
two, three, four, five. Squadron target is confirmed. Six, seven. Squadron target is confirmed. And you are going to go full aggressive posture now because they're probably heading our way. Now, thankfully, this mission, we don't need to deal with uh, their space superiorities. What the heck is this? What the hell's going on here? Proximity mines. Oh, isn't that just fucking neat? Alright, we're fine for now, but oh my Jesus. Alright. Missiles incoming! Throw them out the airlock! Hey, I got an achievement over that! Holy shit! Holy shit! Uh these things are made of fucking paper mache. Missiles incoming! Lost observed, sir. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, these guys are not meant for fighting. They have a um, I am extremely reluctant to say that they have a purpose, but one, a volley from I think one or two corvettes to the broadside took it out. They got no armor on their sides and all their guns are pointing at their side. That's not a very smart design, so they rely on their vipers for defense. Fine, but they only have one squadron of vipers. They can't lob missiles at range like your adamant frigate. And how and they can't attack without the vipers protecting them and they can't use the vipers to push the line. The only thing that saves them is in numbers. They're friggin' terrifying. However, I believe there is a carrier in the game that allows you to have two wings of vipers. Way more useful. Uh we're gonna lose. An, we're gonna lose another berserker. Yep. Okay. Um, I don't like these things. I don't like them at all. The mobility is similar to that of an adamant. Um, maybe a hair better, but it's basically an adamant without missiles and less armor on the sides. As for firepower, I question if it's actually any more firepower than before. I don't think it is, honestly. They are cheap though. They only cost like 650 fleet points. So you can have, so early in the game, you can have these in conjunction with your adamant frigates. Maybe, maybe early on before you get battle stars, you could use these as replacements because an adamant frigate and one of these combined still costs less than the battle star in terms of fleet support usage stuff all hostiles are dark initial analysis shows nothing that stands out they were just lucky I guess I don't know what the hell is gonna happen so they they even look flimsy what these are probably is the uh, colonial equivalent of the Talon carrier frigate thing that the Cylons use, except the Tal except that has more armor. That can stay in a fight longer than this thing. So we got two volleys, three volleys of uh, torpedoes. I hate torpedoes. Well, there goes one. And there goes mine. Three volleys of torpedoes. Gone.
The best way to use these would probably be try to figure, try to remember the turns between missiles. If you can have your Vipers back at home to shoot down the missiles before they hit, and then push while they're reloading and repeat, then perhaps that would be a way that you could use the carriers. But so far, I'm not terribly impressed. They're kind of weak and flimsy. They look sort of cool. And they only got one squadron of Vipers. Their armaments are... eh. It's basically just a cheaper adamant frigate with no missiles. So, they would be a, a suitable replacement for a Manticore, but you'd be foolish to use them in place of a frigate. In my opinion. I was really excited about this, and they just kind of sucked. Well, on to the next thing, which definitely will not suck. 